Using an aseptic adapter makes freeze drying under aseptic conditions easy to do. It is very important to note, these procedures are for samples that need to be kept sterile, which do not pose a hazard or a biohazard to the equipment user. The aseptic adapter can be used with a fast freeze flask or with the mini stoppering chamber. In a sterile workspace, begin by loading your sterile samples into a 120 milliliter or larger fast freeze flask. Once the samples are loaded, place the silicon lid on top of the flask. Once secure, attach the aseptic adapter and make sure it's in the closed position. Transfer the flask to the freezer and pre-freeze your sample at an angle so the surface area of your sample is increased. LabConco does not recommend attempting to place a flask into a shell freezer with the aseptic adapter attached. The aseptic adapter can be used along with the mini stoppering chamber to stopper small samples under aseptic conditions. In a sterile workspace, load your samples into the mini stoppering chamber with stoppers loosely sitting on each vial. Place the lid on the chamber. Insert the aseptic adapter into the hose of the mini stoppering chamber and make sure it's in the closed position. Transfer the mini stoppering chamber to a freezer for pre-freezing. When using the aseptic adapter with either a fast freeze flask or with the mini stoppering chamber, you can begin prepping your freeze dryer when your samples are almost completely frozen. Once the condenser and vacuum have reached the correct operating levels for your application, it is important to make sure the samples are completely frozen. You may have to wait for freezing to complete. Attach your fast freeze flask or mini stoppering chamber to the freeze dry port and then open the port valve. Check to make sure the system vacuum level has recovered. Then turn the valve on the aseptic adapter to the open position. Freeze drying has begun. Once the sample is finished freeze drying, close the port on the aseptic adapter. Open the freeze dry port valve and remove the sample. Take the sample to a biosafety cabinet or sterile workspace before removing the sample from its container. If done correctly, your sample has been freeze dried under aseptic conditions. Thanks for watching. Select from the following videos to learn more.